What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so, in the last episode, we actually went through the Sprout Tower, and we, we succeeded in beating a few Sages here and there, getting the HM05, and leveling up our Pokemon just a little bit. So now it's time to go to the uh, Violet City Gym right here. And as we all know, it is the flying type gym. Very first gym in all of JoJo right here. Now, as you can see, Violet City Gym, Pokemon Gym, there is nobody ahead of us. Probably because our rival doesn't really need gym badges. He doesn't want to be seen or anything. So talk to this guy right here. He's like, hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe me, a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. Well, ugh. I never said yes, but okay, whatever. The grass type, uh, the grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. That's it. That is it. Are you are you serious? Okay, so here we are in the Violet City Gym. Flying type Pokemon. Now there are eh, quite a few Pokemon that can be a, a flying type Pokemon, such as Electric types, Ice types, and Rock types. Now, we do have a rock type on our team, or not, not a rock type on our team, but we do have a rock type uh, that we actually got. But unfortunately, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, unfortunately, we're not, we're not, we're not using them because it doesn't know any kind of rock type moves. The only thing it's good for is just being defensive. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to be switching up my Pokemon, getting Teddy first, and then, you know, try and get Toxic Batman into, into the mix right here. So, Here's our first battle against some dude right here. He's like, let me see how good enough, uh, if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Alright. At least he didn't give me some snarky ass uh, remark like light years and stuff. So here we have Bird Keeper Abe coming out with his Spiro. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. And all these Pokemon are good leveled right now. So be aware of that. They are speedy as well. Just be aware of that too. You don't want to mess with a Pokemon that's faster than you. And uh, luckily for us, Teddy is a very, very, very strong Pokemon. And uh, look at that. Another scratch attack just for our win right here. Oh, yes. 111 8 experience points. It's like, this can't be true. It is true, buddy. It is so true. Okay, so that happened. I guess Toxic Batman's up. Um, I'm not expecting much because... Uh, I'm not expecting much because its leech life attack is a bug type move not effective against a bug uh, flying type Pokemon right here so this guy's talking about bird type masters whatever really don't care I honestly do not care so here we have another bird keeper his name is Rod and he has two Pokemon coming out with his Pidgey the lesser of two evils right here and uh, alrighty come on Toxie Batman supersonic not effective Okay, so that happened. Leech Life, come on. Do us a favor, come on. And it doesn't do much at all. Well, okay, so I need to switch out. I really do, because uh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Well, luckily, uh, luckily we can switch train and all that stuff, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's get this. Another scratch attack. Beat him, beat him real quickly. Nothing, nothing to it. And this guy just keeps on tackling and tackling and tackling. It was a critical hit right there, so another scratch attack will do it right here. Yes. And we both get 40 HP, so that's good. And he's gonna come out with his Pidgey, so I'm gonna go with the guy that hasn't gotten hit yet. Yeah, this guy, Cinder, the evolved form of Cinder. Yeah, that Cinder right there. And good for us. We got ourselves an Ember attack, so it's a it's gonna be a good a good attack, good move, you know, hitting them. And wow, Jesus. Okay, finish him off. Tackle attack. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So that was easy right there. He's like, yeah. Okay. So what do you have to say for yourself? Faulkner skills are for real. Don't get cocky just because you beat me. I'm not getting cocky, buddy. I'm the Pokemon League champion, Mother Grabber. That's right. Okay, so I'm gonna heal my Pokemon right here, and uh, I'm gonna start off with 
I'm gonna start off with Teddy first. I'm not gonna take the, the risk and use Toxie Batman because, let's face it, it doesn't know any other new moves right now. So, here's Faulkner, the emo, the emo bird type trainer. He's like, I'm Faulkner, the Violet City gym leader. People say you can uh, clip flying type Pokemon, flying type Pokemon's wings a, with a jolt of uh, electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. It's flying type Pokemon, buddy. Flying type. So here we have our first gym battle in Johto against Faulkner. And yes, he's coming out with his Pidgey. Look at that. The animation. Go, Teddy. So, going into our second screen. Yes, we are still continuing this part right here, guys. So, there's not a lot of changes. He does have two Pokemon on his team. It's both a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto. Pidgey's at level 7, Pidgeotto's at level 9. They're both flying and normal type Pokemon. Um, Pidgey right here has Tackle and Mud Slap. And Pidgeotto has Tackle, Gus, and Mud Slap. Now, one of the biggest things that you guys should be worried about is if you do have a Rock type Pokemon on your team, be aware of that Mud Slap attack because Rock types are weak against Ground types. So, just be aware of that stuff. So going back to the screen right here, let's go ahead and just destroy this guy with a, with a scratch attack. Look at that. Takes half his HP. What are you going to do about that? Not a lot, but that was a critical hit. Going again with another scratch attack. Goodbye, Pidgey. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And Teddy grows to level 12. Good stuff, good stuff. Learning, learning. And he's coming out with his Pidgeotto. So I'm going to go with Cinder right here. Cinder needs more... More uh, pizzazz, more power, more destruction. He, he just needs to—he just needs to beat this evolved Pokemon right here. And how he got a level nine Pidgeotto, I don't know. He probably went to the Viridian Forest, the Pokemon Yellow. So here we go, Amber Attack. Hopefully for the win. No, not for the win. And uh, there's that Gust Attack we should be worried about. And uh, well, let's finish this guy off. Amber Attack for another win. Bye bye So there goes Pidgeotto. Lots of experience points to my Cinder. And, uh, oh yeah. Gym Leader Faulkner has been defeated. Darn, my dad's cherished po bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's an official Pokemon League uh, Zephyr Badge. Alright, okay. We got the Zephyr Badge. Look at that. We got the Zephyr Badge. After what, six episodes? Probably? Zephyr Badge raises the attack of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it anytime. Here, take this too. And we got the TM31, very useful one. TM31 is, or he's telling us that a TM, you can teach a Pokemon a new move, but it can only learn it one time, especially in Generation 1. Think before you act, a TM can be used only once. TM31 contains Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it is both a defensive and offensive move. Okay, alright, that's cool, that's cool. He's like, there are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead. You should test your skills at the at these gyms. I'm going to train harder to become the greatest bird master. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. See ya, see ya, see ya. I'm flipping both of you guys off. Not Faulkner, but I'm flipping all of you guys off. So, looking at this, Leader Faulkner, the winning trainer's Draven. And that's right, your badass host got a, got a gym badge. And he's like, nice battle, keep it up, and you'll be the champ in no time at all. I am the champ. Jesus, whatever. So now once you leave the gym, you get a phone call from Professor Elm. He's like, hello, Draven. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Okay, all right, okay, uh, let's do that then. So, before we end this episode, we're gonna go straight back to the Pokemon Center because A, we need to heal our Pokemon, and B, look at this guy. He's like, Draven, long time no see. Professor Elm has asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Hmm, pretty much. Would you take this Pokemon egg? Eh, even if I say no, that you're still gonna give it to me. So yes, we got ourselves a Pokemon egg. Hmm. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in, in the egg. It also has to be uh, with other active Pokemon to hatch. 
Draven, you're the only person that we, uh, we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when the egg hatches. Okay. Alrighty. So, the other addition in the, in Pokemon, in the Pokemon games, is Pokemon eggs. Baby Pokemon. And right now, we got ourselves our very first egg right here. It says, it moves around inside, uh, inside sometimes. It must be close to hatching. Eventually, we'll find out what kind of Pokemon this guy is. This isn't the only egg we can get in this game right here. But just be aware that there are Pokemon eggs and baby Pokemon. That kind of stuff. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going elsewhere. I don't know. We'll be battling some more Pokemon trainers. So, stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in just a little bit. See you guys.